three zero. Just skip that line. I need fourth row. One zero is deleted. I have only one zero. So I put one square box around that zero. So number of columns should be equal to number of rows. Number of columns we have four columns and number of rows also. How many zeros have covered? One, two, three. I have covered only three zeros in row scanning. So out of this undeleted cells, which is the least value, least value is. So next step, I will find the row reduction. How to find the row reduction? Hello everyone. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidya Shram First Grade College, Mysore. In my last session, I have discussed about assignment problem and Hungarian method. Assignment problem is a special kind of transportation problem. The main objective of this assignment problem is assign the job to the right operator such that the total transportation cost is minimized. And also, I have discussed some basic problems. on hungarian method so today i will discuss assignment problems using hungarian method so first question in hungarian method this is your given table so what is the first step so first you have to check whether it is a square matrix or not so how to check the square matrix the number of columns should be equal to number of rows number of columns we have five columns and how many rows are there five rows are there so it is a square matrix so you can proceed so first step we have to find whether it is a square matrix or not if it is not a square matrix it is unbalanced problem so now it is a square matrix so next step i will find the row reduction how to find the row reduction so in first row in every row you have to find the least value and subtract that least value with other value So in first row, least value is seven. Subtract with this seven. So nine minus seven is two, and eleven minus seven, four. Fourteen minus seven, seven. Eleven minus seven, it is four, and seven minus seven, it is zero. And in the next row, least value is six. Six minus six, zero. Fifteen minus six. It is nine. Thirteen minus six, seven. Thirteen minus six, seven. And ten minus six, it is four. And in the third row, we have least value is six. Twelve minus six, six. Thirteen minus six, it is nine. And six minus six, zero. And eight minus six is two. Eight minus six is two. Thirteen minus six is seven. Six minus six zero. Eight minus six two. Eight minus six two. And in the fourth row, least value is nine. Eleven minus nine two. Nine minus nine zero. Ten minus nine. Twelve minus nine. Nine minus nine. And in the last row, least value is seven. Seven minus seven. Twelve minus seven is five. Fourteen minus seven. Ten minus seven, and again fourteen minus seven is seven. So now row reduction has finished. So next step is column reduction. So how to find the column reduction? By using this row reduction, we can find the column reduction also. So now I will take the first column. In the first column, least value is zero. So two minus zero, two zero minus zero, six minus zero, two minus zero, zero minus zero. And in the next column also we have zero, so we'll get same value four nine seven zero five. In the third column also we have zero seven seven zero one seven. And in the fourth column we don't have zero. The least value is two. So four minus two, seven minus two is five. Two minus two zero. Three minus two one. Three minus two one. And in the last column we have zero. It is zero, four, two, zero, and seven. I have finished this row reduction and column reduction also. I hope you have understood this concept, right? So row reduction and column reduction. So what is the next step? So next we have to find the optimal solution by using this column reduction matrix value. So now I will consider this matrix value for finding the 
optimal solution. For finding the optimal solution value, we have two steps, right? So two steps means that is row scanning and column scanning. So next step is we have to find the optimal solution. For finding the optimal solution, we have to find the row scanning and column scanning. First step is row scanning and also we have to find the column scanning. Here, this is your column reduction value. I have taken this column reduction value for finding the row scanning and column scanning also. So here, first I will find the row scanning. So first step is row scanning. In first row, you have one zero. If you get one zero, you have to put a square box around that zero, put a vertical lines. And in the second row, again we have one zero square box and put a vertical line. And in third row, we have two zeros, just keep that line. And in fourth row, we have two zeros, put a square box and put a vertical line. And in the last zero, it's cancelled, so there is no zero. How many zeros have covered? One, two, three. I have covered only three zeros in row scanning. So now I will do the column scanning. So for finding the column scanning, you have to check the each and every column. So first column is cancelled, second column also cancelled. In third column, we have only one zero. I will put square box around that and I will put horizontal lines. And in fourth column, I don't have any other zero. One zero also cancelled. So I can't do anything now. Row scanning and column scanning has completed. So what is the next step? You have to check the number of square mark is equal to number of rows. So number of rows is equal to number of square marked. How many squares I have marked here? I have marked only 1, 2, 3, 4. But number of rows, I have 5 rows and 4 number of square I have marked. So it is a not equal. It is not a square matrix. I can proceed now. So what is the next step? After finding this row scanning and column scanning. In my previous class, I have explained two problems also. Some basic problems I have explained. In that problem, in first step only, you got the square matrix. So after getting the row scanning and column scanning, you got the square matrix. So easily, I got the optimal value. But here, the square matrix has not come. So I can proceed further. So what is the next step after this row scanning and column scanning? So here, you just observe this table. I have covered all the zeros with minimum number of vertical lines and horizontal lines. But still I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uncovered values. That means uncovered, undeleted values I have covered with vertical lines and columns. But still I have some values in this matrix box. So now, I will consider the undeleted cells first. I will consider the undeleted cells 7, 2, 7, 5, 1, 1, 7, 1. These are the undeleted cells. So out of this undeleted cells, which is the least value? Least value is 1, right? So least value is 1. So just subtract this least value with other values. So 7 minus 1, it is 6. 2 minus 1, 1. 7 minus 1, 6. 5 minus 1, 4. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. So first I will write the undeleted cells. Out of this undeleted cells, just consider the least value and subtract with other values. And the next step. So here, Horizontal line and vertical line are there and in deleted cells. I have some deleted cells also and have undeleted cells. So out of this deleted cells, you just consider the common value for horizontal line and for vertical line. The common value is 6, 7 and 2, right? I will repeat. Out of this deleted values, just common values for both vertical and 
horizontal lines are 6, 7 and 2 are the common values for both vertical and horizontal lines. So here the least value I have considered from undeleted cell is 1. You just add this undeleted cell least value with this common value. 6 plus 1, 7 plus 1, 2 plus 1. I will repeat the least value out of this undeleted cell is 1. And the common value for both horizontal and vertical lines are 6, 7 and 2. Add this 1 to the common value. So 6 plus 1 it is 7 and 7 plus 1 it is 8 and 2 plus 1 it is 3. I have written only for common values for both vertical line and for horizontal line I have added this least value. And now remaining values are same. The remaining deleted cell values are same. 0, 4, 0 and 7. And here again you have 0 and 0. So by using this undeleted cells I got the least value 1. Subtract all the values with this value 1 and you will get 6 and 2 minus 1 is 1, 7 minus 1 is 6 and 5 minus 1 4 and 1 minus 1 0, 1 minus 1 0, 7 minus 1 is 6, 1 minus 1 is 0. And next you just consider the deleted cells. So deleted cells is these are the deleted cells. Out of this deleted cells, just consider the common value for both horizontal line and for vertical line. It is 6, 7 and 2. Add that least value with 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So now the matrix value is like that. So what is the next step? So again, I can find the row scanning and column scanning. Next the row scanning. So in first row, I have only one zero. I will cover this zero and I will put horizontal line. Only one zero means I have to put square box around that and put a vertical line. And in a second row, I have only one zero. Put a square box around that zero and put a vertical line. And in the third row, I have two zero. Just skip that zero. And in fourth row also I have 3, 0, just skip that line. And in fourth row, 1, 0 is deleted. I have only 1, 0. So I will put 1 square box around that 0 and I will cover with vertical line. So row scanning has finished. Now it is a column scanning. First column is deleted. In second column, I have only 1, 0 covered with the square box and put a horizontal line. And in the third column, 1, 0 deleted, I have only 1, 0, put a horizontal line. So now you can find the number of square marked. How many zeros I have covered here? 1 square marked, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th. So how many number of square marked are there? Number of square marked is equal to number of rows. So number of square mark is 5 and the number of rows are also 5. Now it is a square matrix, right? So in first step, I didn't get the answer. In first step, number of rows is not equal to the number of square matrix. So it is a not a square matrix. Then again you can find the least value out of this undeleted cells and subtract with that cell and find the common values for both vertical line and horizontal line. You just add that value with other value. So you will get this matrix value. Again you can find the row scanning and column scanning. So I have found the row scanning and column scanning. I got the square matrix. So 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 number of square marked is there. So number of rows also 5. So it is a square matrix. Now the assignment is, now find the assignment. The assignment is 
So, 0 comes under 5th position that is 1st row, 5th position means 1 to 5 and in 2nd row it is in a 1st position that is 2 to 1 and 3rd row 3 to 3 and 4th row it is 4 to 2 and 5th row it is 5 to 4. So, this is your assignment. So, finally, you can find the total cost. How to find the total cost? You just check the position of the 0 and write the original value. So, original value for this 0 is in 5th place we have 7. And in 2nd row, 1st place. In 2nd row, 1st place we have 6. 2nd row, 1st place is 6. And in third row, third place, it is 6. And in fourth row, second place, it is 9. And fifth row, it is fourth place, that is 10. So, total processing time is 38 hours. So, in, in question, they will only mention the table and jobs or it should be in hours or it should be in a time. Everything they will mention in a question table. So, now the total processing time is 38 hours. If it is rupees means you can write the total cost is 38 rupees. So, this is your assignment problem by using the Hungarian method. It is very simple concept. Please understand it properly. First, you have to do the row scanning, column scanning and again you can check the number of zeros and if you get one zero, you just put a square box around that zero and put a vertical line for row. So, in row and column, if you get two zero, just skip that row and column. So, finally, you can find the optimal solution. So, total processing time you can find by using Hungarian method. And the next problem, given below is the time required in days when a particular software program module is assigned to a particular programmer. We have one table. Here we have a modules and here we have a programmers. So, first you have to check whether it is a square matrix or not. So, number of rows should be equal to number of columns. So, we have four rows and four columns. So, it is a square matrix. It is a square matrix. You can proceed now. So, what is the first step? Row reduction and column reduction. Find out row reduction and column reduction. So, after getting the row reduction, you can find the column reduction. Please keep in mind with the help of this row reduction only we can find the column reduction. Please don't use this for row reduction. Use the row Please don't use this given table for finding the column reduction. By using the row reduction, you can find the column reduction. So, first find the row reduction. In every row, you can find the minimum value and subtract with other value. So, in first row, least value is 8. In second row, least value is 7. And in third row, least value 10. In fourth row, least value is 8. So, this is about your assignment problem by using Hungarian method. Assignment problem is a special kind of transportation problem. So, here also we can find the total processing time and total minimum cost by using Hungarian method. In my next session, I will discuss assignment problem with Hungarian method by more zeros. If you get more than one zeros, two or more zeros, how to solve the assignment problem. So, in my next session, I will discuss everything. Until then, keep watching. Take care. Bye-bye.